Katie. Welcome back to another video. Today I am very happy to announce that we now have a new addition to the family. This is Ash and his show name is Ash Cloud and I was not expecting him to come and I'll talk about a little more about him later on. So yeah, I thought I'd um, carry you guys along with me on the first few days of having him and what I was have been doing with him over the past few days so I thought I'd share that with you guys so yeah he was absolutely going crazy after I let him out of the trailer so I'm gonna go ahead and roll those clips now of him galloping around the arena After he had a nice little run around, I went ahead and led him back into his stall for the evening. I just wanted him to let out some energy that he had so that he can relax tonight in his stall. Ash somehow managed to knock over the camera, so the first 10 minutes that he arrived, he managed to get himself into trouble, so yeah. <laughs> So day two, I took him out again, so, and then I groomed him for a bit, and then let him out into the arena again, so that he can get out some of his energy for the day. Day three, I thought I would 
finally get on him just to see how he moves a little bit and just a nice little flat work, nothing fancy or anything. So I just led him to the arena and of course before I got on him, I didn't know how he would react with me being in the saddle. So I just lunged him a little bit with the saddle on so that he got used to it a little bit because I don't know when the last time he got ridden and I'd rather be safe than sorry. When I first got on him, he was a little bit tense and that's what I expected. He went way better than I thought he would and towards the end of the lesson, um, of the session I guess, um, I definitely felt that he relaxed more so that's definitely good and I don't know what his old owners did with him but I am very proud of him and yeah I'm just slowly building up the muscle now because he did not get ridden in a while so he pretty much lost most of his muscles so now my plan is to just build those up again so that he gets back into work. do a walk and trot but he felt really nice so I thought I'd give Cantor a little go just to see how he went and he went really well I can tell that he really loves to canter I think it's his favorite and so I just let him go and he was a really good boy It is now day three of owning Ash, and I thought I'd talk a bit more about his background and who he is and things like that. So, Ash was found abandoned in a large pasture on his own, and I got a email from the one of the neighbors about him. So I got there the next day and found him, and then took him home, of course, and. He wasn't abandoned for very long, he, you could see his ribs a little bit, but other than that, he looked pretty healthy, but, so, he is a stallion, so that's a little bit different, I have never owned a stallion before Ash, and he had a career in dressage and won quite a few medals, um, when he was younger. He is now 10 years old, a dressage Frisian stallion. He was bred by one of the top dressage horses, dressage stallion in um, North America. And so, yeah, he is 17 hands high and um, 10 years old. And I wasn't actually expecting to get another horse for a while, but I fell in love with him when I first saw him and he I knew he needed my help, so I went ahead and rescued him and I don't want to geld him just because of the stories I've heard about gelding stallions um, after they've been stallions for so long and it can be pretty dangerous because after the surgery and they when they wake up 
they can hurt themselves because they get scared and I don't want that to happen and um, so I'm just gonna keep him as a stallion and I am hoping that I could learn a little bit of dressage with him so uh, that's gonna be fun and um, I'm really excited to see where this leads and everything so yeah I hope you are as excited as I am about learning more about Ash and so yeah thank you all so so much for watching like and subscribe if you feel like it and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!